Hi, I'm Marvin. And like a lot of you guys watching, when I first started selling on Amazon, I wanted to sell all the cool shit. Nike, Adidas, Puma, Under Armour, you name it. But I quickly realized that Amazon gatekeeps all of these brands from new sellers. So while everyone was flexing how much money they were making selling Nike, I had to just stand by and watch, which is probably what you're doing right now. But it took me years before I finally got engated in all of these popular brands, and I was actually able to really capitalize on the opportunity. And boy, did I capitalize, selling through hundreds and hundreds of shoes very quickly. But I don't want you to wait as long as I did and possibly miss out on your chance to get into this profitable category. So in this video, I'm going to break down exactly how to get engated, which products to use and which sites to use to get engated on your first try, which ungating methods to avoid so you don't waste your time and money, and exactly what to do if your ungating request gets denied. And keep in mind throughout this video, I'm speaking as someone who has taught over 800 people how to get ungated on Amazon with incredible success. So I've seen what has worked in the past, what's working right now, and what does not work anymore. And guys, this information would literally cost you $2,000 to get if you went and paid an ungating service to help you get all of this done. But I'm gonna share it all with you completely for free. But first, we have to address the elephant in the room, which is this big rumor going around that Nike is coming back to the Amazon platform and you will no longer be able to sell Nike on Amazon. Now, this LinkedIn post right here was written by the director of Pattern, which is the number one seller on Amazon, and it states that Nike would be returning to Amazon within 18 months due to Nike's recent decline in sales and stock value. Now, most people saw this post and in typical Amazon seller fashion, completely lost their minds, saying that selling Nike on Amazon is dead, saying that Amazon FBA in general is dead, and some people excited about the downfall of people who sell a lot of Nike on the platform. Well, luckily, I'm not most people, and hopefully you aren't either, because if we look closely at this post, and I don't know, maybe actually read it, we can clearly see that this isn't a done deal by Nike and Amazon. This isn't even in the works. This is nothing more than a headline and an opinion. Let's read it. Nike will return to formally selling on Amazon within 18 months. Well, they should. Well, they should should tell you everything that you need to know about this post. This is simply an opinion by the director of Pattern and possibly a slight move and get on Nike's radar to possibly consider coming back to the platform and maybe working with them since they are the biggest seller on Amazon. But to be clear, as of right now, Nike isn't coming back to Amazon. There is no evidence of Nike coming back to Amazon. A lot of people can still apply to get ungated in Nike. And yes, there are some people who are still restricted in the brand, but I think after they improve their sales metrics, the Nike brand will become available to them once again. So in my opinion, until there is an official statement from Nike themselves or some actual evidence, you should capitalize on everyone running scared from selling the brand Nike. Now, if you just got through all of that and you're like, what the hell is ungating? Let me break it down in the simplest terms possible. Being gated is when Amazon has put requirements in place for a specific brand, category, subcategory, or ASIN, and you cannot sell that product until those requirements are met which usually means providing Amazon with a legitimate invoice that meets all of the requirements that they are asking for. Once you do that, you will be ungated, which means you can now sell that product on Amazon. Now, you will not be doing this for every single product or brand on Amazon. You will only need to do this for the brands that Amazon has gated on the platform. So if you go to list a product into your inventory and you see this, that means that you are gated and you'll need to provide Amazon with the proper documentation to get ungated. But why is ungating so critical to your success on the platform? And that's simple, opportunity. The more brands and categories that you are ungated in, the more opportunity you have to find profitable inventory when you're sourcing. Let's use this quick example. Let's say you go out to find profitable inventory, but you can only buy inventory from one brand but I go source inventory and I can buy from 20 different brands. I will clearly have a significant advantage. This is why it's so important to learn how to get engated consistently. It is the ability to manufacture opportunity on the platform. And if you don't master this skill, you're gonna lose out to everyone that does. Now, how do we actually go about getting ungated on Amazon? Well, there's a right way to do things with a significantly higher success rate, and there is a wrong way to do things with a significantly lower success rate. Now, you can still use these inferior methods like email confirmations, packing slips, and just buying from the brand directly, but I'm just here to tell you that that does not work nearly as well or as reliably as it did one year ago. One year ago, you could apply to get engated with whatever you could get your hands on, and your chances of success with that engaging process would be actually very high. 
That is no longer the case. Let me use Puma for example. If you buy something from Puma, Puma is gonna give you an email confirmation. Even if you go reach out to them directly, they're not gonna give you an invoice, they're not even gonna give you a receipt. You're gonna get a shipping confirmation and an order confirmation. And you can use this to go apply to get ungated, but your chances of ungating with that email confirmation are significantly lower than they were one year ago, and you're gonna have to reapply over and over and over again, and you might end up in the ungating death loop where you're applying to get ungated and Amazon just instantly rejects you because you've applied too many times. And your chances of getting ungated on your first try using an email confirmation is damn near zero. And these are just the facts. We are not in 2023 or 2022 anymore, and you have to use a legitimate invoice to get ungated in these bigger brands. Now, if we're talking about getting ungated in smaller brands that are less known and less popular among sellers, yes, use the email confirmation, use the packing slip, use whatever you can and try to get ungated and your chances for success are higher. But if we're talking about these mega brands, Nike, Adidas, Puma, you name it, you need to use a real legitimate invoice if you want to increase your chances of actually getting ungated on your first try. And I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that right now. The website that I want you to use is soccer.com. Now I'm gonna give you two different products, one for the brand Puma and one for the brand Adidas. But the reason that we wanna use soccer.com is because they have access to a lot of different brands that we are interested in. Adidas, Nike, Puma, New Balance, Skechers. But more importantly, they have a real legitimate invoice that they will give you once you place an order. Once you're gonna place an order before you place it, make sure you come over here and join and create a membership right here so that once your order gets shipped and delivered, you will get a finalized invoice right here in the My Account tab. Now, when you place an order, they're gonna send you an email confirmation and order summary. Do not use those to get engaged. Wait for the finalized invoice. If you don't see it in your account right here, then just go ahead and reach out to them, call them, and then they will send you the finalized invoice. Now, I'm gonna show you two different products, like I said, but keep in mind, regardless of which products that you're ordering for an ungating order, you need to buy 10 units of that product in order to be eligible to apply to get ungated. Amazon has specific requirements that you need to meet and you need to be able to check those boxes before you even apply in order to tell Amazon, hey, my invoice meets all of these requirements right here and here is the invoice that I'm going to provide you. So again, remember, anytime you're placing an order to get ungated, you need to have 10 units of that product. So my philosophy with getting ungated is you wanna find the cheapest product that you can get in order to use that for ungating. Yes, you can go and buy a profitable product, but usually those profitable products are gonna be a little bit more expensive. So let's say we're sourcing this Puma sock right here for $10 a unit. Well, it's gonna cost us about $100 in order to get ungated in the brand Puma. Or we can go and buy a $100 pair of Puma shoe and it's gonna be profitable to resell, but then we're spending $1,000 in order to hopefully get ungated. And you just never know. Sometimes you may do everything right and you may still get rejected. I'm just showing you in this video, how to increase your chances to get engaged on your first try, but we also wanna minimize the risk. So would you rather put $100 on the line to get engaged in Puma, or would you rather put $1,000 on the line in order to get ungated in Puma, okay? So for me, I always go for the cheapest products to minimize risk. This is the product that I want you to use for the Puma brand. This is the Puma sock right here. And how I found this is I just went to the search bar, I just typed in sock, then I went over to filter results, I went over to brand, and I filtered for the brand that I want. Okay, so I want Puma, so then I will click on show all results. Then I will come over here to sort, and I will sort low to high. So I can get the cheapest product, and then I just start referencing it back to Amazon to make sure that it's being sold on there, because we cannot just buy any Puma product and hopefully get ungated. You need to buy a Puma product that is gated on the Amazon platform so that you can use that to get, you know, obviously ungated. So this is a Puma sock. And then this is the exact match on Amazon. And here is the ASIN that you're gonna to need to use. Remember, just make sure you buy 10 units, but this is the exact match as the ones being sold on soccer.com. Now for Adidas, I did the exact same thing. Search bar, filtered for the brand Adidas, filtered low to high. And this is gonna be the Adidas Metro 6 over the calf. And then here is the exact match with the ASIN highlighted right here for this Adidas sock right here that you can use for ungating. <clears throat> now keep in mind, regardless of which product that you're using for any brand out there, regardless if it's Adidas, Nike, Mattel, Hasbro, it does not matter. You're buying this product not with the intention of selling it profitably. Hopefully we can resell it. Hopefully we can break even. If not, just use it as a gift. But we are buying it specifically for the purpose of 
ungating, which will open up significantly more doors for us in our business. Okay. So just keep that in mind. Now, let's say you did everything that I mentioned in this video and you still got denied when you went to apply to get ungated. What do you do next? You have to do two things. Number one is you have to keep reapplying, but don't just do this blindly and keep resubmitting the exact same information without helping your case whatsoever. Change what you can change the file name from, you know, just random screenshot to brand invoice or category invoice. You can also add additional information to just give the people reviewing it more information to make your case more compelling. And then number three is actually make your case more compelling when you're reapplying and tell the people reviewing it how it does meet the requirements that they are after. This will help you significantly. And number two, the next thing that you have to do, and most importantly, if you're getting denied over and over again, is you need to get more sales on Amazon. Amazon, at the end of the day, all they care about is you bringing revenue back to them. So if you're constantly improving your sales metrics and getting more and more sales, your path to getting ungated in literally anything that you want will be significantly easier across the board. Guys, I've seen this time and time again. These brand new sellers would jump into my mentorship program and they try to get ungated in Nike, Puma, Adidas, and they have no luck. So I guide them back to just get some sales first and focus on getting ungated second. They get a few sales going on their account and then all of a sudden, boom, they're able to get ungated in all of these brands that they've been wanting to sell for as long as they can remember. You have to do the same thing. Remember, we focus on sales first and ungating second, and this will drastically increase your chances to getting ungated in whatever brand you want. Now, if I can be honest with you guys, it is one thing to get ungated in these popular shoe brands, but it is a completely different beast to actually make some money reselling shoes on Amazon. Because of that, I want you to watch this video next where I show you exactly step by step how to resell shoes on Amazon and actually make some money. Also, if you're tired of being on the YouTube hamster wheel and just going from video to video, but your business is not growing and you actually want to be somebody who can go from zero to their first 10K month within 90 days, just like all of my clients that you're seeing on screen right now, then go ahead and click that first link in the description and grab yourself a spot for my one-on-one -on -one mentorship program while it's still available. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.